David Ball from Racing's Inside Track and I'm at Punchestown Races. I'm after giving a lift to a young man that I've met for the first time today, Mark Boylan, how are you? Brilliant, David, yourself? I'm very good, thanks. Mark, um, I've been in the car with you for the last 40 minutes and you know what, I'm intrigued by you. You're only 19 years of age and the music you can hear in the background is a, is a song that you've done um, for the injured jockeys fund which raised a lot of money and um, obviously was in sad circumstances. But um, just tell us a little bit about how you ended up doing that. Yeah, well look, um, thanks for the lift for the start. Of my <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't fancy throwing me away from Newbridge now this morning. But, uh, no, look, um, the song itself is a song for Campbell. Campbell Gillies uh, lost his life there. Um, terrible circumstances on holidays there a few years ago. And um, at the time, I would never have known Campbell personally. But uh, I would obviously was there in Cheltenham when Brind Brindisi Breeze won the Albert Bartlett. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic finish, Boston Bob. Um, and as a writer, himself he was very very accomplished and uh, very professional fellow with great fun all the same as well and um, a few of his friends Fergal Davis, uh, Xander Voy and um, a couple of the jockeys there that would have known him they got in contact with me to say that um, you know, Campbell had liked my music and Campbell actually had my CD in his car at the time and uh, God love anyone that was in the car with him now but um, look uh, they asked me to put something together for him and uh, although it was quite difficult at times because the last thing I want to do is not take it seriously in terms of you don't want it to be hey diddle diddle but it can't be morbid either mm. so finding the balance is hard and in general you know you want to give something where people might smile at the end and uh, you know you don't want to be too upset either but I really really took me a long time to get it to where I was happy but uh, in the end it's been brilliant and to be fair like you mentioned the Inter Jockeys funds I couldn't have been happier to see them getting something out of it uh, and even in such sad circumstances, I've met brilliant people. His family are absolutely tremendous people. Um, I've gone over a few times since. I've actually I've been in the yard with uh, his uncle and his partner, and I've uh, been with Live Forrest, who his mother, his uh, grandfather, and uncle own over for a few Scottish nationals. So it's 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 been some journey, and uh, I know I've made friends for life from it. And out of such sad circumstances, there's a whole group of people who we've now become quite close with. But uh, the song itself, to be in Cheltenham performing it a year on from when he won on Brindisi Breeze when sadly neither him or the horse were still with us very special and you know I've gone over to Scotland and performed it too and you know without being soft or anything it'd be pretty teary kind of with it and it hits you when you see the people around them and what a market left but uh, really really enjoyable to, to meet them people and now have such a, a great time with them well, as I said, you seen yourself when I took out my phone. I had it. I had it on my iTunes. Yeah. I, obviously, at the time, I I downloaded it, and nice. uh, it's a great. It's a great song to always listen to. I didn't know him personally, but um, obviously, in the circle, with uh, yeah, the circle that we're all yeah, in, it's, yeah, it was brother, so sad and a great fella, though. His brother Finley got got in touch with me with some great stuff about him. With uh, we, we we had serious fun with some of the stuff. I probably couldn't tell some of the stories, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really, really enjoyable to to relive. A life like that, and you're a great singer. <sighs> Thanks very much. I don't know, I enjoy it. I get a good kick out of it, like getting at all. Um, at the moment, I'm in UL doing journalism and new media. I'm in second year, and I particularly enjoy the live element of things, and perhaps that stem from the music as well. The sort of you know, anything could happen type of music, um, and you know that that live get, get see having an audience even absolutely, yeah. it's it, it's fantastic. Um, but no, seeing people enjoy music is seeing what you're playing and particularly now when we go over to Cheltenham with a couple of songs that I wrote for Cheltenham itself AP McCoy and Caught Us Star and you know when you go to Cheltenham now some of the bars there's one in particular where uh, when I was 12 or 13 going over at first uh, you know you go over there and you come to the door of a pub over in Cheltenham and they say excuse me sir do you have ID should I have money this height you know yeah. and um, I turn around after and you know there's one pub let me in and it was owned by an Irish man right. and he says you can come in as long as you sing <laughs> and uh, now I go back every year as kind of a, a thanks there and uh, this fellow's waiting in the door and just to stand up on the tables with the shirts off singing back the words to me and uh, you know it's it's very special and to think that you make that even you get tweets from guys saying oh we're on the way to Cheltenham and listen to your song that makes the oh, means so much and I get such a thrill out of that thinking that something you did had an impact on someone like at Natal when you're making these videos and when you see people reacting to it or enjoying it it, it means the world to see people doing it and you know really really enjoyable music is fantastic and I'm still playing bits and pieces but uh, enjoying the writing at the moment that's good I'll tell you I'm, I'm looking forward to getting you out for a night out to hear you <laughs> singing a few songs anyway but uh, uh, tell us a bit about what you're doing you said you're down in UL but you're in placement with the Racing Post as well which is great yeah, I've been very fortunate now so far thankfully um, 
I, I wrote a couple of pieces there and I sent them into the Racing Post and the the lads have been very good to look after me publishing them and uh, I've got good feedback from them and they were very, very helpful with everything. And um, I'm starting in UL for the third year of the course for from next May until Christmas. I've got to be in, a, in an environment for, of media of some sort. It could be anywhere at all. You could head off and uh, do anything. You could be newspaper or broadcast and whatever. But um, the Racing Post has always been my... I've always been mad to do something with them. And uh, even I can remember Dad has been giving me an awful hard time, but going into junior infants when everyone was asked to bring in a book and I was bringing in the form sheets, the race and post, <laughs> I barely read and I, and I loved it. Um, but look, I'm really lucky you now. Richard Forrest has been lovely to me and I'm in here this week now working with the race and post doing the live reporter updates for the screen. So a quote and a stat and a tip for every race from someone inside in the press room. So and your number's uh, busy then with Gordon and uh, Willie then? Uh, well, that's it now, you know, it is... Uh, it's like getting back into the leaving sort of higher level mats again now with all these uh, figures and things for trainers' titles. But it's very yeah. exciting. And to be honest, for someone that loves racing and loves, as I said to you, the live environment of things, to be in there when the, the when like a finish like Size and John, Coney Gree and Jack Adam, to be in there for that sort of a buzz, oh, it's just, it, it's thrilling. It's what you are you're love to do. And even seeing guys like Mick Fitzgerald come in out there, Robert Hall, guys have done it all. And to be anywhere around them and being able to speak to them even it's it's fantastic and uh, I'm really forward now from May until Christmas to be with the Racing Post in Dublin and uh, I hope I'll learn a lot because I know there's plenty to learn and, uh, and the lads have been brilliant so far Richard and David Jennings have been really really welcoming That's good and how long are you down in UL for? Four years overall now I have two done at the moment um, really really enjoying it um, you know it's, it's one of them things where uh, many different ways of getting into racing media and things like that but I, I really am enjoying learning the trade of all aspects of it, you know, whether it be t- to teach all things, whether it be politics or economics or sociology or any sort of a thing at all, anything that could be pursued in terms of media. And uh, sports is definitely where I'd love to be. I get a great kick out of it. And in particular, at six foot two, and definitely too fond of dinner to be involved in racing <laughs> would be absolutely fantastic. That's good, and uh, you're a boxing fan as well. Oh, it's it's nice we were chatting there. I I really have started to enjoy it. Um, you know, unsuccessfully uh, went down to the UL boxing club a few times. Uh, definitely wouldn't have Anthony Joshua worry by any means. <laughs> um, but no, I really enjoy it. I follow, but I follow any sport at the highest level. You know. I wouldn't be a golf fan, but I'd watch the Masters or I'd watch yeah. the Ryder Cup inside out. I love the rugby. Uh, I've started following that recently again with Munster now training in UL. You see them, see Simon Zebo coming in every so often and Conor Murray. Um, I'd follow any sport. I love my GA, my club at home, St. Rhinus in Banner County Offaly. Won our first championship in 23 years uh, after beating in seven finals. And when you're waiting for so long for one, it was unbelievable. The town, it was yeah. like Christmas and New Year's Eve and everything you can imagine. There was chickens drinking whiskey out of the cup and there was <laughs> anything you can imagine. So um, it's I love sport of any nature, but racing for me is, has always been what it's all about. And, you know, to be at places like Punchestown and enjoying days like this, it's it's fantastic. And, uh, you know, long, long may it last with, with the current Irish racing situation and to be in Cheltenham and, you know, 19 Irish winners, amazing. Incredible, amazing. great! It's, it, we're 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 in a great time uh, here in Ireland with racing. But blessed and Aidan O'Brien, like I think people really, without being any way off, off at all, he is a genius and he is appreciated. But I don't know if people appreciate him enough because what he's doing is outstanding. For any trainer to have a horse capable of running in an arc triumph or something, for any trainer to have three of them is another thing. But to have the one, two, three yeah. is incredible, and he every year to come back and you can say he has the best resources but to have a mind like his and to be as intelligent and as much of a personable person as he is it's it's incredible really um, but we're blessed in Ireland to have the finest riders the finest trainers the best uh, breeding facilities I think in terms of race courses Punchestown and Leopardstown in, in particular are outstanding here um, and you know the car has great development going on as well there's some brilliant things in Ireland to be promoting and in UL we set up this horse racing society this year it was in it was created a few years ago um, by Neve McNamara and a few others that were down there at the time but a couple of years ago just when others graduated it went by the wayside and the two of us started this year and built soon built to six and seven and now we're 52 and we've really enjoyed some great days with it and I think we, we try and give as best an impression of racing as we can let people enjoy racing, educate them as much as they want, make sure there's the fun element, the social mm. element of it. Uh, we go racing plenty, we've been to Fairy House and Tipperary and Goran for Tiesti's Day, we've been in Gordon Elliott's, Willie Mullins, as Joseph O'Brien's, Bally Doyle, Coolmore, um, Knockhouse Stud in County Kenny, Coolmore, 
Um, you know, we've got very, very lucky where we've gone. People have been very facilitating. But I think when you can say in a year that you can do that and have that much of a, a platform that genuinely, I think we the people who come out of places, particularly Bally Doyle, last week when we were down, they come out and, I won't say inspired, but they come out and there's a real air that, wow, this is on our doorstep. We're the best at this in the world. This, why is there's this? a lot of people don't know about it, isn't absolutely, there? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Like, look, I've not been bad about it. And I, I love the soccer and I've loved the Euros last year. But fellas raided every every credit union from Kinsale to Killy Beggs trying to get mm. money to go to the Euros where we go to Cheltenham and we dominate. We go to Royal Ascot, we have great winners. Aidan O'Brien can go to the Breeders' Cup. You know, um, Heartbreak City can run a cracker in the Melbourne Cup. And we're competing against countries of populations beyond us. And we're beating them. And we're beating them. Um I, and there's a few places you can go in the world where you'll have this blend of people in society either. You'll have fellas here, you'll have J.P. McManus and Michael O'Leary, you'll have the fellas who are, have caught the, the bus up there today from Cork or gone up again and got a train on. You know, there's women here who love to dress up for the best dress lady and men who love their fashion too. There's so many different strands of society here and they're all enjoying the occasion itself but their horses and the race and it's, it, it's second to none and I think from a racing point of view there's no reason why horse racing shouldn't be up there as one of the it gets good coverage but sizing John Wayne in the Gold Cup Jesse Harrington doing so well these should be national heroes and yeah. I, ho- I hope that soon racing will reach the level that the, the Irish soccer team does I understand that horse racing does involve more understanding than a soccer put the ball in the net or rugby but we've seen with Conor McGregor in the UFC that a sport that can be a bit complex can grow quickly Five years ago, I can I don't think there's anyone that who could call himself a UFC expert. Really, there would have been a small portion, I'm sure, but you couldn't say that it would have had the following of guys going to Vegas for fights and having a strong knowledge on it. And in a relatively short space of time, there has been a, a cult following, and I think people are what drives that. And we've got great people in racing, and I just think that while we are the best at it, we should be making hay, and it's it, it's fantastic. Well, I hope it continues and. I hope to God that in 20 years' time, if I'm coming back here, if I'm lucky enough, that we'll still be doing the same and even better again. Well, you talk a lot of sense. And for a 19-year-old, fair play to you. And I've no doubt that I'm going to be hearing a lot about you over the next few years and what you're doing. And um, fair play to you. But listen, it was brilliant meeting you. No doubt we'll meet again. And uh, have a good day today at the races. Thanks very much. That's great, Mark. Thanks Thanks very much. Really, thanks.